Welcome back, this is Guitar Week 6, and this is Video 2. In our last video, we learned a new note on the G pentatonic scale, our low D. And we talked about the pattern a little bit more, about how we have open strings, and then it's 2 on the G, and then 3 on the D, and, and up to the G, a high G up there, and how we can play a lot of different melodies with this. Lots of different styles, lots of different uh, cultural music. So we had a Mexican folk song. Today we're going to actually start learning a sea chanty. So it's kind of a, a sailor's theme. Uh, it's kind of fun. It, it, it would remind you if you're on an old sailing boat uh, in, in, you know, with the big tall ships and stuff like that. Um, but let's go over a couple things first. Let's practice our scale. And then let's try our citron again. And then we'll finally get to sea chanty. Um, so let's start. Right, right hand thumb on the D, get ready. Remember we talked about having your fingers come and just rest here right below your sound hole. And then left hand ready too, we have to make sure that we have our fingers ready for the, the two, the three, the three, the A, the D and the E, or the G. And uh, the rest are open strings. So starting that, that D string, and we'll do half notes to start with. Ready, go. D. G and A and B and D and E and G backwards E and D and B and A and G and D. Good. Doesn't sound quite finished, doesn't it? Well, yeah, that's usually because, like, remember on your solos, you end on G. <laughs> and not on D. And D is a, is a great note though because you can have this nice pickup sound to it. It kind of leads into the G. You see how that works? So lots of things you can do with that, that, that lower note leading up into the G. Let's give Al Citron a try now, shall we? Let's try it two times. Let's do one slow and then one fast. Now, the more we practice these songs, the, the more I really want your eyes to focus in on the music. Reading the notes is so important. And I want you to connect what the note says on the page to what it says, or to where it is on the guitar neck. And that, that's gonna be a really big idea right now, uh, so that you're able to read music, which is, again, the best way of communicating how to play a song. Uh, so even videos don't do it quite as well as what is written down on paper. So, left hand in place, right hand on the D. Here we go, let's do the slow version. Two, three, go. Good. Did you remember about the dotted half note? Remember it gets three beats and we hold it out for three counts? Okay, that was pretty good. Let's try that one more time, but let's see if we can do the fast version. Now this one, remember it counts off really fast. It just goes click, 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 and we go. So one, two, three, four, and we go. That one went pretty fast. We're going to keep practicing those. If you don't have those masters yet, don't worry about it. We have uh, two more videos after this one. And you can go back on your own and practice those if you're having fun with them. Uh, the big ideas of, of this song is to learn how to switch strings better with our right hand. It's a skill we have to practice. Uh, and we don't have too much going on with our left hand on this one. Uh, we do have, however, that new note, D. And so we, did, we, we wanted to learn that one. Let's go on to C chanty. Now on this one, we again have to make sure we're reading the notes. Also, we have a lot of open strings, and so everything on this one is either gonna be a G, a B, a D, um, a G, or an E. Uh, I le we leave out the A on this song. There's no, I'm sorry, take that back. There's one A. Let's see if you can find it. 
Um, okay, so here's what I want you to do. Instead of me teaching you how to do it, I want you to take the time to read the notes and try it on your own. Now, again, read the notes on the staff. Use the tab to help you. Okay, I'm going to give you about 10 minutes. So pause the video and go ahead and see if you can play through it note by note. Don't worry about making mistakes right now. Just do your best with it. Find where it is on the, on the tab. Find where it is on the staff and then play it on the guitar. Go for it. Okay, so hopefully that went pretty well for you. That's a hard skill to do. What you just did is called sight reading, meaning you're, you're playing the song without ever having heard it before, without having anybody try to teach it to you. Uh, you're reading the music, and that's an important part of what we're doing in our lessons. Our ultimate goal is so that you are an independent guitar player. You, you can read notes, you can play chords, and you can do things on your own so that there's certain things you don't need a teacher for. You'll still need a teacher after these eight weeks are done, but you won't need a teacher for some of the note reading, for certainly, certainly for some of the chords. So uh, let's give C Chanty a try. And now I'm, let's try it together, but let's go really, really, really slow. Uh, now I know your eyes might gravitate more to the tab at this point, and that's okay. Uh, and so we, we wanna get in position here, left hand, right hand you start on the b string okay and we're going to start on the note b all right and we're going to go about this tempo one two three go b b up to d d and b open strings and g to get the switch up to the high g ready go g g E, E, D, good, keep going. D, D, E, E, D, D, and B, up to high G. G, G, B, D, B, A. Keep going, second line. B, B. I made a mistake there, didn't I? Keep going. High G. G, G, and E, E, D. D, D, E, E, D, D, B. High G again. G, G, E, D, B, G. Whew. All right. So, you want to do that on your own and some, some now more to, to get used to the order of the notes. Uh, before you do it though, why don't you listen to, to me play it one time through and I'll put, put on the track so you can hear what it's going to sound like. Uh, and this is a hard thing to do. We're, we're, we're learning how to play music here. Uh, we're learning how to get the rhythm in order, the, the notes in order, as well as keep a steady beat, uh, which you don't really have a choice when you're doing it with a video, but it's still something that's hard to do. So. Here we go. Listen first, and then I'll let you practice. One, two, listen now. it. Okay, so your turn now. I want you to go ahead and practice. See if you can get the big three things of practicing. Correct notes, correct rhythm, and steady tempo. Go for it. All right, so you should have done that a couple times probably. Let's try it together with the track. So I was playing before with the slow track and not the fast track. Let's practice slowly now. So get ready with left hand. Make sure your wrist is relaxed but straight. Thumb is in a good spot and your fingers are ready to be nice and curved at the first knuckle. Here we go. A one, two, ready, go.
All right. So hopefully that went pretty well for you, having had practiced that a few times. Let me point out something uh, about what, I, what we're doing here. There are a few times in this song where we play a note, and it's a nice open string, and then our next note is, say, for example, G. So say, for example, I have a B, and then my next note is G. I don't have to stop the B string in order to play the G. I can let it ring. And it's actually something that makes the guitar pretty beautiful. And so if your strings are ringing like that, let them ring. It sounds great, okay? Shall we try that one more time? Here we go. Now, more and more, try to get your eyes into the music, the notation part of it, okay? Left hand rating, right hand rating, here we go. One, two, eyes, go. So go ahead and practice those a few more times. Now one more thing you can do for fun is go back to the songs in week five and practice improvising with your G pentatonic scale. See if you can come up with some more creative ways to do that. Again, the more you, you play like that, the easier it gets, the more fun you're able to have, the better ideas you'll come up with too. So I will see you back for video three. Thanks. Mm -hmm.